Hello everyone, how you all doing? Just uh, here for another quick video on a how-to tutorial on how to get uh, the Ethernet working when you're doing dual boot with Windows and Ubuntu. So I just spent uh, today, or actually yesterday, it's now uh, 6 a.m. Uh, I spent the whole yesterday night trying to get the internet working on uh, Ubuntu uh, installed with dual boot. Um, I was gonna mention how you install uh, Linux altogether on dual boot on Windows, but you can find a lot of tutorials for that online. Uh, basically, you need to burn it into a pen drive, um, uh, burn an ISO image into a pen drive, get some uh, size uh, on your disk available for that partition, and then just boot through the pen drive. I can do a video on that later if it's uh, interesting. But the issue was when I finally booted into uh, Ubuntu, it would detect the Ethernet card uh, if I would run uh, commands like yeah, ifconfig that is listed here, it would show me my Ethernet card. Um, if I would do lshw-c net, it would show me the, the card there as well, uh, but it would not connect. Um, I searched around the internet for uh, uh, similar issues. This page was one of the similar issues that I found. Um, there was one guy helping another guy uh, with all sorts of uh, small tests they could do, like check if the driver was working, uh, mine was working. And the thing was that I was using this particular uh, Ethernet chip called uh, Intel 218V. There are a few different models, but all of them use, uh, or a lot of them use the same driver on Linux, which is the E1000E, uh, which is listed here. There's also a variant without the extra E in the end. Um, okay, so what the problem is um, on Windows, there's this thing called Wacon LAN which means that the network card can uh, stay active even though the computer is down. And then when you send a specific packet through the, uh, through the network, uh, the network card will notice that and it will power up the computer. That's a great feature to have. Um, the problem is if this thing is active, then when uh, Ubuntu tries to boot up, the driver on Ubuntu um, notices that the card is already being used by another driver. So it won't let operate because of that, because it's already in use. Um, so the way you can switch that off is going to Device Manager. You type here Device Manager. You go to the network adapters part and here you find the, your network card. Mine is the Ethernet connection, as I mentioned. You go to properties, you go to power management and here you have wake on LAN settings, which you can switch off. And after you do that uh, and you reboot, then hopefully the network will be working again on uh, the Linux side. Uh, if these things don't show up here, you need to go to driver and update the driver. And once you update it and you close this window and open it again, you will see that uh, you will have this menu on uh, on the power management tab. So yeah, that's how you fix um, uh, Ethernet connection issues uh, in dual boot mode between Windows and Ubuntu on the same machine. Uh, I think this also applies to other um, distros of Linux, not just Ubuntu, but Ubuntu was the only one I tested. And uh, I know I had the same issue on version 16 and 18, so uh, both of them seem to be affected by this issue. And it's a Windows issue, not really a Linux issue. If you didn't have dual boot at all, if you only had Linux, you would never have this problem because the network card would only be activated once. 
Uh, so yeah, I also found another thread which really went to the bottom of these things, which is this one. I will put links to both of these on the description. So yeah, hope this video was useful, at least it will be useful for me whenever in a few years time I don't remember how I fixed that Ethernet problem. I will remember that it was because of Wake on LAN. So bye bye everyone, take care, see you next video.